This day has finally arrived. Is it really here? Yes, I, I think this big check we're holding means it's really time for the final round of the competition. So we know one of the students is going to win this big check. What do the students do in this round to try and win it? For the weld grind portion of the competition, they used the brand new 3M Cubitron 3 Fiberdust 1182C. So let's get started by bringing in 3M application engineer, Tyler Nats on the set to talk about our revolutionary new fiber disc. Let's do it. As promised, we now have Tyler Nats in the studio with us. Hi, Tyler. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for having me. Now, before we start talking about the new 3M Cubitron 3 fiber disc, can you tell us what it was like being with the students through the clash? You were with them, supporting them at every round. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. The energy that the students brought uh, before the competition even started was inspiring almost. Um, but having all the spectators and their teachers there involved, uh, the energy was fantastic. So when we were going through all the safety and the prep before they even began the cutoff wheels or the bonded wheel testing and then the fiber disc testing at the end, um, they were all focused paying attention, learning, but uh, the energy from the students versus the professionals in, in the past uh, was very engaging and a lot of fun. And Tyler, what do you think the students took away from this experience? I think it was a few things, the, the few pointers that Matt and I were able to provide on how to use the products. We didn't give away everything uh, because we wanted each student to kind of come in with their own knowledge and use of the tools. Uh, but I think they learned some tips and tricks even watching each other go um, throughout the competition and then hopefully a lot about what 3M brings to the table. Not just how to prep the surfaces, but also the products we have that can make their job easier so they can weld more and do things that are generally more enjoyable than grinding. Well, speaking about products, let's get back to the main reason why you're here with us today, the new 3M Cubitron 3 Fiber Disc. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so this was the product that the students used when they were in that last step trying to remove welds super fast. So the 1182C uh, Cubitron 3 Fiber Disc, which is our carbon steel product, uh, is very fast. Compared to our old products, we have a new shape mineral uh, that's sharper, cuts faster, and still lasts a really long time in the uh, fiber disc world. So 1182C, great new product um, and then we also have our stainless steel version for the stainless steel or the other substrates uh, 1187c is also another great product can you tell us a little bit about the additional 3m cubitron 3 products that the students used in the previous rounds of the competition yeah so the first round was cutoff wheel testing so we have our new cubitron 3 cutoff wheel uh, our new molecular bonded technology that allows these to last longer, but still cut very fast with our shape grain. Um, it was great in round one. Uh, and then round two for beveling, we used our depressed center grinding wheel, uh, very durable. And again, that molecular bonded technology that is in these products that our lab brings to the industry, uh, the long life and the fast cut hopefully shows off in that just on how smooth uh, it was to use. So. These products, uh, new to the industry, out now, go get them. Uh, but uh, it was great for the competition to show these off. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks, Tyler. You bet. Now for the finishing portion of the competition, the students used the Scotch-Brite Precision Surface Conditioning Disc. And we have Mackenzie Walden here with us to talk about this awesome product. Hello, Mackenzie. Thanks for being with us today. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me. So tell us about the Scotch-Brite Precision Surface Conditioning Disc and a little bit about the technology behind these particular abrasives. Yeah, gladly. Thanks, Mike. So Scotch-Brite is very unique to 3M, right? We're the only company that has Scotch-Brite. It's been around since 1958, okay? Um, we're very proud of the technology. It comes from our plant in Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. Um, so even with all, you know, all of this technology over the years, we love to keep innovating. So what you're seeing, the Precision Surface Conditioning Disc, um, this is the first time where we've mixed our precision shaped grain uh, with our non-woven technology, which is really exciting in this form. So you're seeing this in the competition where you're getting that really fast finish consistently. So kind of the science behind the Scotch-Brite technology is that it's a, it's a 3D open web 
construction. So you kind of get this spring-like action with the product, but you're not fat gouging um, into the actual base material. This is another one of my favorite products. Um, this is our Clean & Strip XT Pro Extra Cut. So you guys can keep those in for free, no charge. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So what are the main benefits of this product? Yeah, it's flexible, which is great. So you can get around some different contours, but it's also going to be pretty aggressive. So you can use it in a variety of applications, which we love. We have five different grades. One of the most um, exciting ones is the extra course because you can use it in a two step prep for paint, which is a big deal um, with a lot of our customers. So very exciting product to come out with. Yeah. Mackenzie, you were one of the judges in this competition. How hard was it being a judge? It's tough. I mean, you're kind of rooting for everyone a little bit, uh, but at the same time, I think the, the whole competition itself was just very fulfilling. It's fun to work for a company that invests in projects like this, in students and in the trade skills. Um, you know, the people at our plants are very similar to um, the, the people that were in this competition are similar to our customers, so that's great. That's a really good point. What do you think the students will take away from the experience? I think the students will hopefully realize, or as they've realized, that 3M abrasives is the best technology, right? It makes the job easier. Uh, and I think also, hopefully, they're realizing this idea of giving back. So as they're training with other students, they can speak to the technology that 3M has, and we can keep this going for another round. Mackenzie, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, yeah, thank you for having me. Thanks, Mackenzie. And if you want to learn more about Scotchbrite, scan the QR code or click the link in the description. Now, before we launch into watching the much anticipated final round, let's take a little time to learn about Fanuc, the sponsor of our first prize $10,000 scholarship. Fanuc America was happy to sponsor the first prize of $10,000 in partnership with 3M, mainly because I think our two corporations share this passion and commitment for exciting and inspiring the next generation of automation and, and manufacturing and technical skilled workforce. It's something that is really exciting to watch these students come in and say, all right, I, I can do this. I can grab these tools and this technology and understand how it works. And they were awesome. Their skill sets, their ability to just get in there and compete was great to watch. And, and what I thought was incredible was they were kind of pushing each other forward and giving advice to each other. So it was a fun rivalry, a fun competition, uh, but they really put their heart into it. And that's rewarding for us. So it's something that we know this is a way of giving back. And we, we know that we don't do this alone. And uh, we are happy to work together with 3M on this. And now we get to learn a little bit about Surface Prep, the sponsor of the second place $5,000 scholarship prize. We chose to sponsor the second prize because 3M is a great partner with Surface Prep. Uh, we have been partnered with them for many years and it's one of those things that having uh, education for uh, the students is beneficial to continue their education and something that really gets them excited and it, it's such a great feeling to see young people excited about being in the surface finishing, surface preparation industry and watching what they do and how it's going to change their lives. All right, everybody, the moment of truth. Drum roll, please. The final round of Clash of the Grinders Student Edition. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final event of 3M's Clash of the Grinders Student Edition 2023. We have three finalists. Hunter, 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 Hunter. Ben, Ben's going second. Sorry. And then Parker, you're going third. Yeah. Now you know what you have to beat. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Three, two, one, go. This is so smooth, very little vibration to the operator. Second step, finishing step, that's great. Consistent surface conditioning then. All right, let's see, let's look at that minute. 
Well done. You can tell Hunter and Ben, both of them, finished the weld, but then with the fiber disc did a little extra work. Yeah. They maybe had a little better technique right away, but by the end, it was, they were all found their groove, right. yeah. and then it just, yeah. it'll come down to you guys figuring out the finish. You know what, what I think, I, I do like the uniformity. It, it looks like most of the scratches are going in the right direction because it leads me to believe that, you know, they got the last scratch out. Okay. Either that or they didn't spend enough time with the scotch bright, which is kind of what it looks like here because it seems like a it's, a little, it's a little rougher. Yeah. If we're gonna be super critical. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, if I'm rubbing my nail across it, I'm getting much less snags, probably about 40 that to 50 percent less snags on this one. Also, the, you know, you can tell the vibration on this one is very different between these two. So for me, it's between these two right here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, this one definitely. The, the the grain is definitely raised here. Yeah, like I, I can tell it is. I think because he was trying to move that weld so fast, which was great. I think it's formed kind of. Yeah, and then we don't see any heat discoloration, which is something right. we were watching for, too. They all did a, yeah. did a good job there. Yep. I think three points goes to this one here. I agree. I think two points goes to this one here, and I think one point goes to that one. Wow, we're on the same page with that. All right. Do we have a clear decision, you think? Yeah. I think so. It's our criteria, so it's, yeah, yeah. Our third place winner will win a $2,000 scholarship sponsored by Stellar Industrial Supply. Wonderful, congratulations on making it this far. Our third place winner is Hunter. able to figure out on your own that our number one winner of Clash of the Grinders Student Edition 2023, our Clash of the Grinders champion, Ben, all the way from Alabama. Everyone, so much! What a wonderful contest! What a wonderful event! Congratulations, gentlemen! Thank you, all you contestants, for bringing it. That was so emotional. Now, before we hear from the winner, Mike, what were your thoughts on how the second and third place contestants performed? Well, it was an interesting journey and I had a front row seat and I got to watch it all. I interviewed them the day before and both Parker and Hunter were very, very confident. And I remember thinking to myself, well, let's see, let's see if their actions back up that confidence. And Parker started out strong and he really stayed strong throughout, which was great to see. Hunter was very confident, but he was humbled a little in the first round, but he did well enough to advance. And somewhere along the line, it was like a light bulb went off. And suddenly he said, I got this. And he just sailed ahead straight on through. I was really happy to see them both finish in the top three. What a journey for these students. Now let's hear from Parker and Hunter after that last round. First is the worst, second is the best, you know? <laughs> I know, I'm feeling great, I'm excited. I, I honestly can't believe this. Like, you know, I'm gonna take more classes through Gateway, get more certifications, as many as I can get. And I was just talking to my instructor, Kyle and Jeff, about this. You put it on your resume, it's just another thing that opens so many doors for you. Well, honestly, I love the group of guys I competed with. If I lost anybody, it wouldn't have been them, too. I just brought so much energy into this, and it was great, I loved it. I told, I was lying to my mom earlier saying I was doing really bad and all that, but I can't wait to bless her with the information. So I'm feeling good right now. 3M, them putting this project on, 
really shows that people do care about our industry and care about the people that are in it. And it just brings a whole new life to it and it makes it you want to do more and reach out to more people, talk to more people and just explore it. Shout out 3M. Shout out with everything that 3M makes. They make HE double hockey sticks of a grinder. It's awesome. I love 3M. It was emotional to watch the instructor's reactions after that last round. And our crew got a chance to talk to Ben's instructor after he won the competition. Let's take a look. <laughs> I'm very proud of Ben. So. I'm very proud of all the hard work he's put in, the dedication it took to get here. Words are hard to put out right now. It's a lot of emotions floating around. Uh, ben has worked very, very hard to get to where he's at today, especially throughout this process. Ben has competed for us before, so I think being in other welding competitions helped kind of fight the nerve and the edge that might have been laying around. He came into this this morning being comfortable, but I think being prepared and dedicated in your skilled trade goes a long way. So. Not only does Ben come to class prepared every day, he's also at work prepared, and he's always evolving his learning, so he always digs deep into everything. He, he, he never stops at just a basic answer, just continue to thrive. I'm so glad to see all of his hard work paying off at a, a, a quick rate, a, a young age. I'm glad we're able to showcase our students' progress. And without further ado, let's hear from the winner of the first ever Clash of the Grinders Student Edition, Ben Blanton. I mean, I came out here with no expectations. I just wanted to have a fun time, do good, have, like, meet people. That's the main thing, is I wanted to come out here, meet cool people, learn more about myself. I, I didn't see this happening at all. My welding instructor, Blake, he's been a great help with me. He's helped me learn everything, and really on the finer details of stuff and technique. I mean, so far, I've met so many great people here. I've learned so much more about the industry, welding. Abrasives as an industry, I always was like, oh, that's a grinding wheel. Let me just grab that off the shelf and use that. I've learned so much more about what goes into grinding wheels and all that. I think I'm going to have a Cubitron 3 on me at all times now, probably. <laughs> they're, they're a great wheel. 3M has done a fantastic job. They've been awesome all day long. They've got some really cool people with them. I mean, just nerding it up, talking about abrasives, having a good time. It's, it's been a great day. Wow, you know, they're all winners in my book. Mine too. That was worth the wait. Absolutely. Now that the competition is over, what are we gonna do for the next episode? Well, the CEO of Push Corp, Mike McMillan, surprised the winners by announcing he would fly not only the first place winner, but all three of the top contestants to Dallas, Texas to visit their headquarters. Congratulations, fellas. So, Thank you. Appreciate we had, uh, you. We discussed flying down to the uh, first place winter down to Dallas for a Friday and a weekend, hang out, do some barbecue. But throughout all the enthusiasm that we've seen here, we're going to fly all three of you down. So, the weekend. Yeah. So, And we'll come down and we'll spend some time in the robot labs with 3M. We'll show you all the robot labs, maybe spend a day on them, and just show you some other side of the business. Now that's what I call a real treat. I can't wait to see what those top three winners get into in Dallas. Plus, 3M Chief Marketing Officer Martha Bennett will talk about 3M's commitment to skilled trades. Sounds like a great time. It will be, so please join us next time for a Texas-style conclusion of the epic 2023 Clash of the Grinders Student Edition series. And if you want to sign up to know more about 3M Cubitron 3, scan the QR code on your screen or click the link in the description and fill out the short form to receive exclusive insider emails.